Right, I'm Cass Zakil. I'm the Commercial Manager for the Victorian Regional Channels Authority and I've been in this position now for approximately six years. The Victorian Regional Channels Authority itself has responsibility for all the shipping movements in the regional commercial ports in Victoria. Our main focus is in the Port of Geelong. The Port of Geelong is the largest regional port in Victoria. It's the second largest port in Victoria as well. And apart from the major resource ports around Australia, it is close to one of the largest non-container ports in the whole of Australia. So it does play a very unique part in the economic development of Geelong. The port also um, is the home to a large number of large organisations that use the port directly. It includes uh, companies like Shell, Grain Corp, Instatec Pivot, just to name a few and they make up the majority of the cargoes that are handled in the Port of Geelong. In a typical year, the Port of Geelong would handle approximately 12 million tonnes of cargo and that represents about 600 to 650 ship visits a year. One of the things that really appeals to me about Geelong and the Port of Geelong is that it, it gives access directly to countries outside of Australia. It also gives people access uh, to be able to bring products from and export products to other anywhere in the world virtually. Uh, it makes us unique from that perspective because as we all know Australia is an island nation and to get products to and from Australia the most economical way of doing that is by sea with ships. The VRCA in the last two years has conducted an economic study which looked at the contribution of the port and the companies that use the port of Geelong to determine what their contribution was to the economic prosperity of the Geelong region and the wider Victorian community. We're about to embark on another study which will look at also the expectation of what this means going forward for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. The study that was conducted a couple of years ago showed that the Port of Geelong generates 12 to 1500 jobs both directly and indirectly and generates economic activity of up to about one to one and a half billion dollars per annum. An extension of the study that we're carrying out into the economic contribution of the Port of Geelong will include looking at what sort of cargoes we currently don't handle that would make a good fit for the Port of Geelong. Uh, and so that might include things like mineral sands, it might include things like coal products. Uh, the scope is endless, but I think that I'm convinced that we can do it quite successfully. There is no doubt that the future for Geelong is bright. The opportunities are totally unlimited. And VRCA are excited about being part of the progress to achieve those 